here y equals a times b to the x power. Now notice this is an exponential equation because the variable is in that exponent, that power position, right? The b is what they call the growth factor or the decay factor. It's what we're multiplying by to get to the next term, next term, and next term. Whereas the a, that's our initial condition. That's the y-intercept. You can think of it as the starting amount. So let's jump into some examples. This first example, let's take a look at our y values. What are we multiplying by to get to the next y term? Well, you can see that we're multiplying by three. And if it's not obvious at first, what you can do is look a little bit further down the line here. You can see six times three is 18, two times, six is, uh, two times three is six, and so on. And just double check that pattern. Another way to identify it is to take any term and divide it by the one before it. So if you take 18 divided by six, you're getting three. Six divided by the term before it, you're getting three, right? And so on. So that's what I normally do is go a little bit further down the line if I can't identify it right away. So we know that we're multiplying by three, so that's our b value right here. And our initial condition, that's gonna be when x is zero. That's our y-intercept. Remember when x is zero, you're not going left or right. You're just going, in this case, up two. That's your y-intercept. Then you're multiplying by three, and you can see that's you know, really taking off. That's an exponential growth because that base is greater than one. So if we put it all together, we're getting y equals two. Okay, that's our initial condition, that's our a. And then we're multiplying by three, that's our base. And that's our formula.